now let us see the uh, logic diagram implementation for the bcd addition operation so here the four bit binary add generally first we will see the four bit binary addition operation so for implementing four bit binary addition we need four full adders so these are the four full adders for each full adder we have b not a not input and we have one more input totally we have three inputs so two inputs are ab and the uh, third input is carry so see here so that is the c that is the third input next coming to that next full adder a1 b1 are the inputs and carry is nothing but as previous full adder output previous full adder carry output is the carry input for the second full adder next coming to the this third full adder this third full adder carry input is nothing but as second full adder carry output this full adder carry output is nothing but as this full adder carry input the remaining a not b not a1 b1 a2 b2 a3 b3 so this is normal binary addition process okay so this complete picture i am representing with uh, this type of diagram okay so for my, for my easy drawing purpose for easy drawing purpose i am representing the four bit binary adder in this way so see here four bit binary adder i have written in between and here i have represented four signals these four signals are a3 a2 a1 a0 and these four signals are b3 b2 b1 b0 and the outputs are s3 s2 s1 s0 and this is the c in and this is the c out so that is a ca c out so these are the terminals only available here so this internal connections i have not represented here so see here a not b not so actually in this block we have the connections in this way only there is no doubt at all but our comfort purpose point of view i have represented separately a3 a2 a1 a0 here b3 b2 b1 b0 here s2 s1 s3 s2 s1 s0 here okay so and we have a carry c in and we have a carry out that is c out okay so this is the four bit binary adder with using this four bit binary adder you have to draw the diagram for bcd addition okay right so here in the bcd addition we have already did this procedure once again i am taking the review step 1 add the two bcd numbers given bcd numbers using the rules for binary addition so first we have to add the binary numbers as per the binary rules that is four bit binary we have four bit binary adder we have to use here next step 2 if your four bit sum is equal to or less than 9 it is a available bcd number so the uh, after adding this value we got the sum after adding this value we got the sum if the sum is less than 9 if the sum is less than 9 that is nothing but as a valid number in bcd that is a valid number in bcd then there is no necessity of adding any values step 3 if a four bit sum is greater than 9 if the value is greater than 9 Uh, if uh, if your carry is uh, out of the four bits, so if is there any carry? So see here two condition. If the value is more than nine, and if you have any carry, then the four bit group is generated. It is an uh, invalid result. That is the not valid result. That is the invalid result. Add six. That is zero double one zero. You have to add. Add six to the four bit sum in order to skip the six invalid states and return the code. Two eight four two one. If a carry results when six is added, simply add the carry to the next four bit group. If any carry you will get, you have to add six and you have to add carry for the next group. Otherwise, you have to keep like that only. So this is the procedure what we have did now up to now. Okay, right. Now see here. So this is the BCD adder. This is the BCD adder. So this is the four bit binary adder. This is a four-bit binary adder. So for first two numbers, I have a a value and b value. I have added here. If any value is greater than nine, if any value is coming from carry, then I have to add six here. Now I have to add six here. So remember thing: this four-bit binary adder is normal four-bit binary adder. This is also normal four-bit binary adder. This complete diagram as is the BCD adder. BCD adder, right? So here I have drawn some circuit. The circuit now we will see. I said that more than nine. If you got more than nine, you have to add the carry. So see here. Here I have written a three, a two, a one, a not. 
which are the original uh, agent and addend. So agent value, addend value I have given here. If any sum I got here, if this sum is 0, 0, 0, there is no problem we have in BCD number system. If you got double uh, uh, 0, triple 1, that is also a valid combination. If it is 1, 0, 1, 0, this is not a valid combination. That is uh, up to 9, these lines okay, these values are going directly and here you have to add zeros. B3, B2, B1, B0, we have to keep zeros. When you, these values are going to zero, so see here, B3 value, B0 value, we are keeping always zero. This B2 value, B1 value, we are connected to an OR gate. This value should be zero. If it is less than nine, if the sum is less than nine, this B2, B3 bits are zero, it should be zeros, okay? But if the value is more than nine, the OR gate value should be one. So the argument value should be 1 based on some conditions, based on some conditions. So this value is 1, that is based on some condition. If the value is greater than 9 in between these lines, otherwise if you have any carry here, if you have any C out or if you have any value greater than 9, then only the argument has to go 1, uh, argument has to go 1. Then, right, so I said that for C here. So if the carry is equal to 1, if the carry is equal to 1, any what is the R gate operation? If any one of the input is equal to 1, automatically the R gate output is 1. If any one of the input is equal to 1, the R gate output is equal to 1. So this 1 goes to in this way. The 1 is goes in this way. And B2, B, B, B1, B2 values are also going to 1, 1. So now B3 is equal to 0, B2 is equal to 1, B1 is equal to 1, B0 is equal to 0. So that is here uh, these values, these four values are forming like 0, double, 1, 0. Forming like double, 0, double, 1, 0. So I got carry. So the R gate value 1 and these values are representing 0, double, 1, 0. So I got the carry. So for that sum I have to add this 6. So for me to add uh, what it does, it adds the add uh, again to the addend. Again to the addend. The addend is 0, double, 1, 0. And this is the again we go, what we got result from here. Okay, right. So it is very simple thing. So after adding the first two bits, right, for that sum, if you got any carry, if the value is greater than 9, then I am adding 6. Otherwise, I am adding 0. Okay, so like that I am doing. So you, you got a doubt. Sir, if you got uh, the value is less than 9, there is no carry. There is no necessity of adding. But this is the machine. That machine has to do a systematic process. So for that reason, if you got any problem, you are adding with 0, double, one, zero, 6. Otherwise, you are adding with 0. If, if you are adding 0, nothing happened. It's not a big problem. Don't worry about that. Okay, right. Now, I said that if I got nine, uh, 10 to, right, 10 to 15 combinations, for example, 0, uh, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, double, 1, double, 0, all right, double, 1, 0, 1, double, 1, triple 1, 0, 5 months. So, for these combinations, we have to keep the R gate value as 1, right? For these values, you have to keep R gate value 1. If R gate value is equal to 1, then only B2, B1 values are 1. Then you will get 0, double, one, 0 combination. So, so for this all combinations, uh, you have to apply a K map. Okay? You have to apply a K map. So, I am drawing a K map here. Right? So that is 10, 11, 15. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So these are the groups you have to make. These are the quads. Here we have formed two quads. So we know that this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Next, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Right? And coming to here, the inputs are here we have uh, here S3, S2, S1, S0. Here we have S3, S2, S1, S0. Here we have. Okay, right. Now coming to that, uh, analyze the quad output. Here one one combination. This one, all the ones are varying. So for this uh, four values for this horizontal group, the value is equal to here. You have to write down S3, S3, S2. 
plus next coming this from, from this quad s3 and here we have in this value s1 so, so here finally you got a table here s3 s2 plus s3 s1 so this is the value so see here s3 s2 so this value is s3 this value is s2 these two values i have connected to an anti gate and s3 s1 these two values i have connected to this anti gate if any of these combinations are one then the R gate output is automatically one then this value is uh, shifting to 0 double one zero zero double one zero so this is the process this is so this is the process of how we have drawn this diagram so what I am doing here it is very simple so the first addition output if I got more than 9 then I have to add 6 to this sum this sum I have to add 6 then also we have how the 6 will be generated I framed a circuit so B3 B B0 values always so see here here in this place the values are only four zeros are zero double one zero this position this position always zero so i have kept b3 b0 values always zero the remaining values b2 b1 b2 b1 values if it is no carry if it is less than nine then we have to keep that uh, those two digits are zero zero otherwise those two digits we have to keep one one so for making these two bits one one i framed this circuit i framed this circuit so see here if any of combination is occurred here automatically you can add six now i will show Right. Now we will see. For example, here we have taken eight. You have taken nine. Eight plus nine is equal to seventeen. So seventeen. Uh, we, in the previous example, we did there. So in the seventeen. So see here in the 17, 1, triple zero, 1. You got the carry. You got the carry. So you, if you got the carry, if C, C out is equal to 1, then this R alert automatically 1. Here you, you got the values like this B3, B2, B1 values are seems to be like as 0, double one zero. Then you have A3, A2, A1, A0. This A3, A2, A1, A0 is nothing but as previous 4 bit binary adder output. The output we are representing as input here and 0, double one zero we are adding if you got any carry. Otherwise, Otherwise, if the value here is 1, 0, 1, 0, if the value is equal to here, 1, 0, 1, 0. So see here, 1, 0, 1, 0. Is there any chance to make this undergate any of one undergate is equal to 1? So see here, this value, here it is connected and here this one is connected here. So the value of this undergate is equal to 1, right? And this automatically the undergate output is equal to 1 and 0, double one zero. If you go, if you got the answer is 1, 0, 1, 0, automatically this B3, B2, B1 values are going to as 0, double one zero. That is, it is making as 6. You are, for this uh, 10 value, you are adding 6. The final value you will go, you will get here. The final value you will get here. And from this, uh, you will get one more carry also. That is uh, 1, uh, double zero, 1, 0, like that. 12 we will get here. Otherwise, if you got 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 plus uh, uh, 6, that is 1 you will get here. And all zeros you will get here. That is a uh, 10 equivalent value in BCD number system. So this is the binary coded to decimal number system. It is very simple concept, but you have to remember the strategy of a binary coded to decimal number system. All of you note down this diagram. It is very, very important. I am giving two minutes of time. Pause the video and note it down. 